Imagine floating in a vast ocean of nothingness, where the nearest sign of life is billions of light years away. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie, it's potentially our reality. Astronomical discoveries suggest that our galaxy, the Milky Way, resides near the center of an immense cosmic void. This void, spanning a staggering two billion light years, challenges some of the most fundamental principles of cosmology. Why is this significant? Because it could reshape our understanding of the entire universe. The existence of such a vast void raises profound questions about the Big Bang, the distribution of galaxies, and the very fabric of cosmic expansion. If the traditional models of a uniformly filled universe are wrong, what else might we need to reconsider? In this video, we will delve into the discovery of this cosmic void, explore the intriguing scientific and philosophical questions it raises, and examine how it could transform our understanding of the cosmos. Astronomers were shocked to find the local hole, a huge empty space in the universe that stretches over two billion light years and surrounds our galaxy, putting us close to its middle. They initially met the idea of such a void with doubt, because the cosmic microwave background, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang, suggested a relatively uniform distribution of matter across the universe. This uniformity is the cornerstone of the cosmological principle, a principle integral to our understanding of the universe. However, as observations became more detailed, the evidence for this void's existence became undeniable. Advanced telescopes and surveys noted a significant lack of galactic clusters and a surprising pattern of galaxy movements within this region, all pointing to a profound emptiness. Moreover, Indranil Banach's recent study published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society introduces a provocative perspective by linking this void to the ongoing mystery of the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble tension. Observations reveal that galaxies inside this void seem to move away faster than galaxies outside of it. This suggests that our measurements of how fast the universe is expanding might be off because of our special position inside this huge empty space. This void, with its lower density, might be causing what Bannock describes as outflows of matter, where the gravitational pull from denser surrounding areas could be drawing matter out from the void, accelerating the local expansion rate. This idea of gravitational outflows introduces a radical notion that gravity itself might behave differently across the vast stretches of a void compared to more densely packed regions of space. As we grapple with these findings, the question arises, what if our cosmic address in this void is influencing everything we observe and measure in the universe? It challenges us to rethink not just our place in the universe, but the foundational principles of cosmology itself. The discovery of our residence within a colossal void not only adds a fascinating chapter to our cosmic story, but also forces a critical re-evaluation of the Big Bang Theory and the standard cosmological model. If the universe's expansion, observed differently depending on one's cosmic locality, varies so drastically, could the Big Bang be not the singular event we once thought, but more an echo in our vast cosmic void? Indra Nilbanik's work highlights a troubling inconsistency known as the Hubble tension, which refers to differences in the measured expansion rate of the universe when observed locally versus predictions based on the CMB. This tension suggests that conventional models, like lambda-cold dark matter, might be missing critical nuances of cosmic structure. Bannock proposes that our giant void could significantly influence local measurements of cosmic expansion, suggesting that these measurements might be inflated by the dynamics within the void itself. Furthermore, the introduction of modified Newtonian dynamics as an alternative theory suggests that traditional understanding of gravity may not hold at the cosmic scales influenced by such voids. Mon posits that the anomalies in galaxy rotation speeds, traditionally attributed to dark matter, might instead be explained by modifications to Newton's law of gravity at extremely low gravitational fields, like those in a cosmic void. This shift in perspective could mean that the structures such as galaxy clusters, and even the behavior of dark matter and energy, need to be reconsidered. For instance, 
the massive galaxy cluster El Gordo presents properties too extreme to fit within the standard model predictions, hinting that our understanding of cosmic evolution, especially within voids, may be fundamentally incomplete. So, how does the absence of mass in a cosmic void affect the curvature of spacetime as predicted by general relativity? In general relativity, mass warps spacetime, dictating how objects move within that space. However, in a void where mass is conspicuously absent, the traditional models of spacetime curvature need adjusting. This could lead to new insights into how voids influence the geometry of the universe and possibly hint at mechanisms of spacetime that are active only in such extreme conditions. So, if the early universe's rapid expansion was supposed to smooth out irregularities, what does the existence of massive voids say about the uniformity of inflationary effects? The concept of cosmological inflation posits that the early universe underwent a rapid expansion that smoothed out any initial irregularities. Yet, the existence of large-scale voids suggests that this smoothing might not have been uniform, leading to significant large-scale structure variations. Exploring these voids more, we delve into the quantum fluctuations in the early universe. These are believed to be the seeds of all cosmic structure. In regions like our void, these fluctuations may have behaved differently, leading to fewer galaxies and less dense matter. Voids can also serve as natural laboratories for studying phenomena like gravitational lensing, where the path of light from distant objects is bent by gravity. The way light bends around and through the void can tell us about the distribution of dark matter and dark energy, which are invisible but account for most of the universe's mass energy content. So, are we truly alone, or is our cosmic solitude just part of a larger, more complex cosmic pattern? Scientifically, the void challenges us to rethink our models and theories. Philosophically, it confronts us with deeper questions about our place in the universe. If vast voids are common, it suggests a universe that is not only patchworked with clumps of galaxies and expansive emptiness, but also dynamically varied in a way that cosmology has yet to fully explain. This patchwork raises questions about the uniformity and isotropy of the universe, which are central tenets in cosmology that may need rethinking. Furthermore, the solitude of such vast empty spaces might reflect on the nature of existence itself. In a universe where vast voids separate islands of cosmic activity, the development of life, civilizations, and cultures might be more isolated events than previously thought, challenging our ideas about the universe's habitability and the potential for interstellar communication and travel. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the vast emptiness of our cosmic neighborhood. As we've explored today, the discovery of immense voids not only challenges our understanding of the universe, but also invites us to rethink fundamental aspects of cosmology and our place within the cosmos.